Uh, hyperbaric oxygen is another therapy that you use. Explain what you do there and how that works within the body. Okay, well most oncologists will say don't use hyperbaric oxygen because you'll feed the cancer. Okay. Now that's based on conjecture rather than data. The bulk of the data shows actually the opposite. Um, in, in the cancer fellowship that I teach, um, I always tell the fellows a well oxygenated tumor is a happy tumor. It's a tumor that doesn't have to metastasize and go elsewhere for better nutrient supply. So the data shows this. The more hypoxic a, a cancer is, meaning the lower its oxygen concentration, the more it has to get energy elsewhere. So then it turns to glucose uh, and it becomes a glycolytic cancer. The more the cancer is glycolytic, the more resistant and more aggressive it is. On the other hand, when you oxygenate those tumors, it turns off its necessity to become glycolytic and it's okay to simply stay put. So oxygenating the tumor is important for what I do, not to cure the cancer, but to decrease its metastatic potential. Mm -hmm. And then how do you treat from there? Well, then we use other techniques. We get into other techniques to actually kill it, and one of them is pH manipulation therapy. But it's important while you're trying to kill the cancer to simultaneously decrease its metastatic potential.